Woodley Farm has been certified organic for over 30 years. Farm fields are nestled in among 26 acres of native oak and pine forest in the Sierra foothills of Northern California. There are eight acres broken into seven one to two acre fields of mixed fruit and vegetable production for farmers market sales. The climate is Mediterranean with dry summers where the highs reach into the 90s and wet winters where the lows drop into the 20s. Annual precipitation is about 35 inches. Woodleaf grows a diversity of crops with 12 kinds of tree, shrub, and vine fruits and 200 fruit varieties. Woodleaf Farm is a leader in two important areas of organic fruit production. Farm design to suppress insect and disease pests and system soil management to improve plant health. The system strategies used for insect and disease suppression and soil health are intertwined and synergistic. Here we present the details of Woodleaf's systems approach to pest and soil management. Pest management at Woodleaf Farm is part of an intertwined system with the soil fertility management. This ground cover provides habitat for ground dwelling carabid beetles and spiders, and pollen and nectar for predators such as surfeit flies and soldier beetles, and pollen and nectar for parasites such as parasitic wasps and tiny flies. Most insect pests have diminished over time here at Woodley Farm, and particularly aphids and caterpillar pests. This living mulch ground cover is the foundation of the entire system at Woodleaf Farm. In the spring, this is covered with flowering weeds such as chickweed and speedwell and purple dead nettle. And then as the season progresses, clover blooms and these grasses provide pollen and nectar. Soil organic matter and most nutrients have increased over time. Woodleaf Farm has a unique soil management system. It consists of two parts. The first part is a mineral balancing system that Carl's developed over 30 years. The second part is a nitrogen cycling system that mimics what happens in a natural forest system. So with mineral balancing, I add whatever is needed, phosphorus, lime, all of that. The second part is three parts of nitrogen cycling. One is, is pruning, so the prunings are two prunings a year. They get pruned and then chipped up and then pushed into uh, under the trees and in the middles of the rows. The other is the grass and the clovers and whatever are under the trees gets mowed and that gets recycled. So the irrigation kind of works it into the soil. This is the second part of the nitrogen cycling, the living mulch. The living mulch is mowed. It's a little more green and succulent, higher nitrogen. There's so much residue produced by this living mulch ground cover that it turns out to be from two to four tons of hay applied to the soil in these orchards every season. This is the third part of my nitrogen cycling system. This is green waste compost, and I use uh, two applications, up to four applications a year at two tons to the acre. It has a lot of um, woody material in it, and so it builds in the soil, I think, really well. Disease management at Woodley Farm starts with the soil. So the soil needs to be balanced, all of the minerals in their proper proportion. All the parts of our soil management system create a healthy soil, which creates a healthy tree, and I feel like it's much more disease resistant if everything is healthy and growing strong. Brown rot is the main disease organic peach growers contend with in our area. In the 1990s, I did research here at Woodley Farm to develop a systems approach to controlling brown rot. I learned that by applying a mix of minerals to the peach bloom, brown rot was for the most part suppressed. Generally, I spray four times during bloom with a mixture of minerals which includes sulfur, potassium, gypsum, iron, manganese, boron, kelp, and rock dust. I spray these minerals just before a rain to protect uh, the blossoms. 
We also practice good sanitation by taking these mummies and removing them from the orchard in the fall. In the summer, with our good, solid, biologically active soil, I'm able to throw these on the ground and the gr squish them into the ground and the ground will eat them up. But starting in about 1st of September, I need to take them out of the orchard and compost them away. Otherwise, they don't decompose in the ground and in the spring, they push up a little mushroom spore and cause great havoc during bloom. At Woodley Farm, soil and ground cover management plays a huge role in lowering insect and disease pressure. I add a balance of minerals to the soil and let the ground cover go to flower. This, along with good cultural practices, is the key to my pest management. It's a systems approach that takes more thought than labor, which in the end is good for our bottom line.